of the team's uh, performance tonight? Yeah, um, you know, kind of tough uh, end of the first period, obviously. It's not how we want to finish a period, but, um, you know, I thought, uh, you know, we were pretty good in all areas. We got out of our zone pretty quickly. Um, neutral zone, I thought we made some good plays, got in the four check. Um, you know, we just got to try to generate more around the net. What was the biggest challenge uh, generating offense against these guys tonight? Obviously, you got to tip your hat to Bobrovsky uh, in some regards, but uh, how do you sum up that area of the game? Um, yeah, I mean, they do a good job of, you know, kind of getting all in tight, um, making it hard to get out of places and corners, and that's where we just got to make sure we try to do a better job of going rather east-west, you know, try to get off the wall, try to find someone, and like I said, from that moment on, you just got to try to find ways to get it to the net with people there. What did you make of the mix with Cali on your line there for the second and third period? Yeah, it was good. Um, you know, I think um, we obviously played with him quite a bit, so um, kind of just hop back into the things. I think, um, you know, we've had our looks with Bird. It just hasn't worked right now, and um, I'm sure there's no panic mode on that at all. Um, we know it will eventually, but you can always, um, you know, kind of want to put a couple people with us that uh, we played with before that kind of just bring the chemistry. What's it like uh, trying to get in a groove early in the season when there's some new players to, in to incorporate and some moving parts? Yeah, I mean, it's always a little tricky, especially... You know, preseason is what it is. It's not anything close to really regular season. Um, obviously, when you get into this, you're playing a full NHL team every night. That comes with, uh, you know, 100%. And you know, I don't want, you, especially us, to score or do anything uh, productive. So, for us, I thought we've done a good job of really, you know, getting pucks off the wall, getting towards the net. Um, we've had a looks. So it just, you know, hasn't worked. Kelly, what do you see as the uh, the difference in the game tonight? Uh, I think first period. Uh, we weren't good enough in the first. Uh, I think that that kind of cost us the game today. You think that's them feeding off the energy of the crowd, or some new lines, or what do you chalk that up to? Yeah, I mean, I don't know, maybe uh, first couple of minutes, maybe, uh, and then it's a normal hockey game. Uh, I think we just got to be got to be better uh, right off the bat. Uh, yeah, kind of feel like we kind of lost the game in the first there. How, how do you find this season so far, the amount of different lines you've been moved around on? Yeah, I mean, I, I'm kind of used to it, so that's, uh, you know, kind of my role. Uh, so, yeah, it, it's fine. What is it about the game that makes you a guy who can do that, who can bounce around the lineup and still be effective? Uh, I don't know. Uh, I'm just trying to, you know, trying to work hard out there, uh, try to play my game. Uh, I don't know, I guess you have to ask the coach about that one. How difficult is it to kind of get into a flow when you're down two, but then there's penalties kind of going back and forth. There isn't a lot of five-on-five five time in that, that middle period there. Uh, yeah, I, mean, I still think we, we played played a lot better in the in the second than we did in the, did in the first. Uh, I thought we were pretty good in the, in the third as well. Uh, like I said said before, I think it was just the first period that was, that was off tonight. Sometimes the pucks go in and you win, and sometimes there's not as many pucks go in and you lose. How did you How did you feel about this game tonight? Uh, yeah, yeah, result is not too great today, but I feel my game a little bit better, uh, moving better, uh, like a couple good shots against us. Uh, yeah, uh, you know, like I think we don't have time for crying because we have too many games in this road trip. Uh, Sun is up again tomorrow, and uh, we need to need to think about this game a little bit today, and forgot about tomorrow in the morning. How do, you, how do you think the team played defensively in front of you? Uh, good. It's really good. You know, like uh, thank you guys. You know, like these guys try to help me all the time. I'm just want to say thank you. Yeah. What were the emotions like? This was the first time you guys played them against since the playoffs. You you got hurt in this building. Did you feel any extra emotions with this game? Uh, I'm okay. I'm trying to forget about last season, uh, new season, new teams, a lot of change, and uh, every team gets some a lot of new players. I don't think about too much playoff last year or something like that. I'm just focused today and this game. Were you able to see that first goal? Like there was a lot of traffic. I didn't see first goal and second too. Maybe I need to buy some glasses. There's been some plays where you've, you've dropped your stick coming across with the blocker. Is that by design to try and get over quicker, or do you just lose the Wh stick? Wh which moment? There's a play where you dr dropped your stick trying to make a blocker save. Is that is that by design to try and get over quicker, or do you just lose the stick? You know, I didn't think too much about this. I'm just trying to go hard as I can and try to stop the puck. 
maybe because you reach too far, too far, and stick is automatically going out. We're almost broken with time you yeah. go to like that. <laughs> yes. How important is a road trip like this for a team to come together early in the season, longest trip of the season? For sure, I think it's a good for us. You know, like a lot of new guys in this team, and uh, nice to get together a long time. Yeah, twelve days all together. We know more each other, and it will be nice. I think it's really important for us, and a good road trip. What was the, uh, the difference in this one from your perspective? Well, it was a tight game. I think uh, I thought both teams had chances. I think it was it was uh, you know obviously that that goal or those two late ones in the first. You know we're down two, and uh, I thought we had a good good second battling back. We we started grinding real hard, and uh, I don't know about how the third felt L looking back. I uh, felt like we had obviously some chances late, but uh, you know it was a good game back and forth, aggressive on both sides, and. Uh, Really tight for sure. Not the result you wanted, but do you think you guys took a step in cleaning things up defensively here tonight? I thought we were, yeah, we were a lot better defensively. I thought, uh, you know, we battled harder. I felt like we won some uh, some good battles in the corners on the walls, got pucks out. I thought early on maybe not not as much as we would have liked, but as as the game went on, we were I thought we were really good and dialed in, and we just. Uh, you know, I don't know. It just felt like they were really packing it in around their net. We were having a hard time um, just getting that, that rebound, that loose one to go going for us. But we did a lot of good things for sure. How can you get some of the new guys on the team more kind of connected and integrated on the ice? Well, it's just I think it's just communication and, and getting used to our systems and all that. I mean, we're early into the season, but uh, I think they've done a good job um, fitting in and and just you know I think for us. We, we, you know, we look at wins and losses, obviously, but I think we feel a lot better about a game like this than we do, you know, when we're giving up six or seven goals. So, um, got to look at the positive, and then we'll figure out ways to score. You know, you know, our team knows how to score, but uh, for us, it's focusing on defense and defending well. What's the feel been like when you've been out there with Klingberg? He's great with the puck. I mean. Uh, um, you know, I think uh, communication is big, and we, we both like to talk out there, so that's big. And um, yeah, it ha it's tough to say right after the game, but once I go and watch the shifts, I think there's going to be things that we could do better. But I think uh, uh, the one thing I did notice with him is the plays he makes under pressure with the puck, for sure. A much tighter one uh, tonight. How did you assess the performance overall? I liked a lot about our game. You know, that's probably the best. But the best game that we've played in, in terms of the quality of the game, it was, it was tight, it was fast, it was competitive, uh, and I thought our guys hung in there. I thought defensively we did, uh, did a nice job throughout the game. Didn't give up much at five on five. They scored two goals from distance, and, and uh, didn't give up much else other than that. You know, obviously didn't do enough uh, to, to generate enough offense. So. Uh, you know, score, you don't win. That's the way, way, way it works. What prompted did you have? Bert's less than 100% here right now. And, and it was very clear from the pace of the game, the physicality, competi competi competitiveness of the game, and, and uh, the difficulty of the matchups. Um, whoever was going to play with, with Austin and Mitch today needed a lot. And, and uh, I thought. Lightning Bert's load was, would be beneficial to him tonight here, given that he's, you know, he's a game time decision and kind of fighting through something. But uh, that was really it. Is it to the point where he might need a game or two off to, to heal up? Possibly, he's possibly. We'll have to we'll, we'll have to see. I'm going to talk to them. That uh, you know, it's something he's he's dealing with. Was, you know, consider it too severe at this point. But it's you know, even on the bench, he's. He's, he's trying to stay loose and make sure that he's, he can get ready for his next shift. So that's, that wasn't a good sign for me in terms of the quality of the game and, and just really wanted to lighten his load. That's it. What have you made of how Austin's been handling the penalty kill so far? It looks like he's getting more and more comfortable. Yeah, he's good. He's comfortable. Um, he's doing a really good job. You know, once we get the puck, he's doing a really good job, which that's what you, you know, like to see, that he's using some of his skill that way. Uh, there's still things defensively, you know, reads, and it's not just him, but all of our penalty killers. We're, we've got uh, some different people in different spots and different roles and such that are still trying to feel their way through it. But uh, I think he's handled it well. How would you assess how Fraser Mitten's making his way through the NHL through four games here? You know, I think he's, I think he's, he's learning a lot about the league. Um, I think he continues to, to 
to work hard, continues to be good defensively. I thought he won a couple puck battles here tonight that were really positive and, and good. But um, you know, I wanted to get David Camp a little more involved here today. We haven't used him very much, and he's another guy that you know I feel like he has more to offer our team. And I thought Camper had his best game tonight. And then you're playing from behind, so you're just not using the whole bench. How can you get some of your new guys more comfortable with some of your systems and what's happening on the ice? Time. What did he make of Samsonov's night? Well, I thought he was solid. I thought the guys, we've been talking about this. I can't really, can't truly assess the goalies until we start playing better defensively. I thought we did a good job here tonight. Um, I had about six scoring chances at 5 on 5, so we did a good job there. He made some saves and penalty kill for us that were real good. Uh, the two goals come from distance. I'd like to see him find a way to, to get one of those for us, um, you know, especially when the other guy on the other end is not giving you much. But uh, I thought it was, it was a good game and, and progress uh, for Sammy in terms of finding his groove.